Abby. This is Abby Matt Reads. And Penguin's back. Hello, guys. Yeah, uh, this is a tag, but with a difference. Yeah. Normally, it is Spencer asking me questions. I like that job. Today, this is the boyfriend tag, and I will be asking I'm him so questions. Nervous. I'm so nervous. And he is absolutely petrified <laughs> he's going to make an idiot of himself. But Which is an odd. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll be fine. I'll be fine. We'll see how I feel in 10 minutes. Yeah. They, I, I stole this. I wasn't tagged, but I stole it from Princess at Castle Library. And I will link down below her video on this because it was ultra good. She did it with her husband. And it was great, which is why I had to steal it. Yep. Okay. Okay. So are you ready? No, but let's get this over and done with. <laughs> I'm basically forcing him to do this. Yes. You see these bags under my eyes? Death from all the stress about this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're so dramatic. Well, it's good to be dramatic. I thought I was the dramatic one. No. No. <laughs> anyway, let's go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right, question number one. And there are quite a few questions. Oh, brilliant. How long have we been dating? We have been dating about two, two and a half years now. Yeah, I think just over two and a half years we got together. We neither of us know this. Uh, no, we don't know our anniversary. No, I think it's March or March, April. I think it's like April. That. April, we'll go with that. So April, two years ago. So yeah, yep. yeah, two and a half years. Okay, are you a reader? Audiobooks count. Uh, yeah, I'd say, yeah, I, I'd like I'd like to say I'm when I'm when, when I'm in the mood. When I'm in the mood, I, I, I like I like to read. I did I did more reading ironically before I met you. I used to I used yeah. to I, yeah I used to read quite a bit, but now it's just all sort of cut down. But but when when I'm in the mood, I do I, I do like reading. I've got, I've got you reading my favourite books at the minute on audiobook, and I? Yeah, the Darren Shan books. Darren Shan books are very good books. I loved them in school, and now she's li and we're li listening to them of a night yeah, on well, audiobooks, and she's really yeah, into well, them. Yeah, well, the next question is, if so, what are you reading at the moment? So if you want to go on about Darren Shan and tell people... Yep, okay. So Darren Shan is what we're listening to on the audiobooks. It's basically about this uh, teenage boy who, through a miscarriage of events or adventure, he gets turned into a half-vampire. And it's all about his adventures growing up as a half-vampire. And I can't really say too much more because she hasn't finished the books yet. But they're really, really good. We've only got about two or three books left out of like 12 or 13 books. So yeah, so we're almost at the end. But she's really into them. And I loved them in school. I got introduced to them in secondary school by one of my English teachers. And I read them all in about a year or two. Really loved them. And now I've got you hooked. Yeah. And what stars would you give them out of five? Oh, Darren Sam, five out of five, six out of five, eight out of five. Bloody awesome. Low, brilliant. My favourite series ever. Okay. What Hogwarts house are you in? Uh, we did a this test. This is a sore subject for him. I'm not happy with this. Uh, apparently, somehow, I'm slivering. Don't know how. Okay. But the next question is, why were you placed in that house? No idea. Ask the people who made the website. Maybe <laughs> it's because you're very like resourceful. Yeah, I can and be. And you use your skills to get ahead in life. Yeah, I try to. Yeah, so Yeah, the, so maybe the, that then. Yeah. Okay. Uh what is my most oh, anticipated God. book release this year on Oh next? that's easy. Tombland by CJ Sampson. No, that's already come out, oh. so you can't have that one. Oh then another I one. I don't know. I, 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 I don't, there hasn't really been a big, massive one you waited for apart from that one. Yeah, uh -oh, but the other day I was the, <laughs> uh -oh, away. the other day I was reading through Heat and said, "Oh, look at this book! I've, I've, re I've, I've, I can't wait for this one to come out," and so that I wanted it for Christmas. Pass. Jodie Pilkert. <laughs> Jodie Pilkert. I've heard of her. I've, I've heard you talk about her. Yes. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the book. I can't at the moment. See? I think it's called, like... This is where I get away with it. Like, um... Yeah. No. See? Oh, sorry, that was a stupid question. <laughs> uh, I could have got that one right. I could have said any book apart from Tombland, and she would have said yes. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, what was the last book I read, and what was it about? Well, you're reading like half a million at the minute. The, the, the last one you finished, you finished... Yeah, but you, you touched... Which book did I finish Saturday that you just touched upon? 
Tombland. Tombland by C.J. Samson. Yeah, so, yeah, Tombland by C.J. Samson, and you, and you've just finished Da Vinci or whatever it was. The Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci yeah, Code. That's the yeah, one. Yeah, but this this Tombland book's the major one. Okay, then. Like, da Vinci Code was a buddy read. Yes, it was. So. Yes, it was. But yeah, but Tombland, she had to have it. Day it come out, we ordered it like three weeks or something before. And, and what's it about? It's about C.J. Samson, who's a lawyer back in C. the. C.J. Old... Samson's the author. He's not the lawyer. Ooh, wow! It's, <laughs> right, it's about Sard Lake. It's about Sard Lake, who's the lawyer who's in the olden days, and he gets involved in royal affairs with all the queens and the kings and all the bad guys back in the day. Back in the Tudor times. Yeah. My favorite books ever yep well not really but Go i do have a favorite book but that will come oh oh yeah yeah next oh, question no, 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 what no, is my favorite book oh, i'll try to just give you a few questions later it's in the back of my head and i've told you we should already read it together oh. it's been my favorite book since i was 14 i know it's in the back of my head it's in the back of my head well get it out the back i'm of trying to, 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 to try to do that a few more times that might help Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> no, that hasn't helped. All right, Junk. Junk, that's the junk one. Junk by Melvin Berger. It's a YA book I read when yes. I was 14 about two teenagers who run away to Bristol and become heroin addicts. Yes. Yep, yeah, see, I knew that. Okay. Uh, what's my favourite book genre? Favourite book genre is historical fiction. Correct. Do Woo! You see? I do pay attention sometimes. He does sometimes. pay attention. Okay. Uh, how much time do I usually spend reading? 25 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that one. Yeah. If there were more hours in a day, you'd spend more time reading. I would. Does it bore you that I just sit there and read all day? No, no worries. I'm perfectly happy. It keeps you quiet. <laughs> keeps you quiet so I, so I can play PC all day. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. It's a good job I have a hobby that consumes my time. Because is, I don't it? get any attention from him during the day. Pardon? Who are you? Oh, run away. Run away. <laughs> Come okay. on. Next question. God, you're in a rush to get these done, aren't you? I'm scared. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What is the one thing you've noticed about my reading habits? That you can read that you can read pretty much anything and everything and that, and and and, and that you're you're quite a completionist, even if you're not liking a book, you'll still finish it, you'll still wanna know what happens in the end. Yeah, and I'll still buy like the uh, remaining. Yeah, 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 and you're st- yeah, like yeah, like with yeah, like with the old discovery of witches. You're not really enjoying that, but no. you, but you're gonna, but you're gonna finish, you're gonna finish the trilogy because you're a nutter. Yeah, I'm a completionist. You are a completionist. Yeah, not a nutter, completionist. Okay. Uh, what book should I read soon? Oh. If you can think of any books that are on my TBR. No idea. So, oh my god you watched me do my book haul the other week I, that, that was the other week i've been asleep since then no <laughs> no idea Any none okay all so right. we're gonna have an all argument right, after on. this yeah yeah this wasn't a great idea <laughs> all right moving on moving you. on what book would you consider reading what book would i consider reading that's I don't know. There's loads. I like, I like, I like mainly sports, sports short biographies. There's, there's like so many of them out at the minute. Anything to do with like Jose Mourinho or Pep Guardiola or just anything like that. Yeah, football, not football. soccer. Not soccer. Don't you call it soccer in the comments? If you call it soccer, I'll be jumping in the comments. <laughs> That's a warning. You have been warned. Yes. All right, I've got to flip the page now. If you call it soccer, I have a John Cleese video to send to you. Do you? Yes, where he describes why it's, why it's football and not soccer. Oh, okay. You have to show me that video. I have done. Oh, it's not just, it's not just him that doesn't pay attention. See? All right, okay. Superhero or supervillain? Ooh. Superhero. Why? Uh, get, 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 get to get to save the day. Everyone loves you. It's all good. Would you like to be a superhero? I would. I would like to be. I'd like to be a superhero. You've you, you've you've seen my superhero costume the other day. He does. He has a superhero costume. He has a cape and everything. It's called Wally Man. Cape. Yeah, Wally Man. No one will ever have heard of it. It's no. just some weird costume he bought. Yeah. And it has it. What I like about it is that it has like underwear you can put on on the outside of it. Yeah, yeah. Which makes it look super cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be wearing it in a couple of days, so there might be pictures going up on Twitter and whatnot. I will. I will put pictures of Spencer in his yeah. superhero costume. I'm gonna app. be in the middle of London look in my Wally for, Man yeah. costume. Yeah. So check out our Twitter. Look forward to that. Yep. 
Okay, now this one last question, but it's broken into things because there's oh, booktube brilliant. terms. Oh, okay. Okay, what's booktube? Booktube is people doing videos on YouTube about books. Correct. Woohoo! What's a reading slump? A reading slump is when is when you just get so, so fed up of reading that you, you just need to take a break from it. Yeah, what's it usually caused by and things? Too much reading, bad books. Bad books, yeah. Is when you've struggled through a book and it's put you off reading. Okay. I, I know, there might be a more general term, but that's that's what it is for me. Okay, TBR. TBR, to be read. Correct, well Woo-hoo. done. See? Wrap up. Wrap up is where you tell everyone about all the books you've read in the previous month or a few weeks or whatever, and then you go over them and you say whether you liked them or not. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, readathon. Readathon is when one or more people, well, n- well, it'd be helpful if it was more than one people, but but, <laughs> but, but but where a few people get together and read read the same se- and and read a set of books or books all related to the same genre or the same topic. Yeah, yeah. Which one did I do? What was it called? It was, oh, it was all about space. It was all about going to Mars and uh, you went to Mars. You you read the Martian. I went oh. to Mars and read the Martian. That's it. That's about oh, that's about all I remember from it. Tome Infinity. Tome, tome, tome Infinity. Tome Infinity. Tome Infinity. Yes, Tome. I should know this. I edit these videos. Yes. <laughs> Reading vlog, what's that? Reading vlog is where is where somebody document documents themselves reading and they put themselves a camera over in a corner or something. They just read in front of the camera, and 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 they talk and they just talk about them reading their books. Yeah, they don't really read in front of the camera. Oh, so sometimes they do and they speed yeah. it up a bit. Yeah, but it's more. It's more, sort it's of just more like about, about the habits of reading yeah. and like how you acquire the books right, and okay. how you're feeling about them. Yep. So yeah, that's good. We are well. We're done. Woo! I survived. Yeah, you didn't look like too much of an idiot. Woo! You were worried over nothing. I was. These well bags done. can go away. Yay. Well done. <laughs> Woo! All right, now you've done so well, I'll let you do my outro. Ah, oh, okay, guys. Here you go. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. And if you do, smash that bell button so that you get notified every single time this beautiful girl here does a video follow her on twitter at abby mac reads and i think that's all we've got to say for now subscribe yep i've said that i've said oh, subscribe okay i don't listen she, she doesn't she's not just me <laughs> but anyway if you hope you've enjoyed that video hope it's made you laugh and so we are out bye bye